water level indicator. We generally worry about the wastage of water, when we switch on the motor, and forget to turn it off. The water level indicator employs a simple mechanism, to detect and indicate the water level, in an overhead tank, or any other water container. In this video, we are presenting a very useful, cheap, and simple water level indicator circuit, using transistors BC547. This circuit indicates the level of water in the water tank, using 3 LED, red, green and yellow. These are the components, which are needed in this project. Transistor, BC547, 4 1 kilo ohm resistor, 3 10 kilo ohm resistor, 2 red LED, 1 green LED, 1 yellow LED, 4 copper wires, 9 volt battery, PP3 battery connector, on off, rocker switch, 1 0 PCB, 4 screw with nuts, and 4 plastic spacers. Before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery, to power up the circuit. This is an on-off switch, which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor, to protect the LED, from high current and voltage. To detect the water level, we are using 4 wires, supply, level 1, level 2 and level 3, supply wire, and level 1 wire, will have equal length. Level 2 wire will be smaller in length, then level 1 wire, level 3 wire will be smallest in length. We will dip all 4 wires inside the water tank. When water will reach at level 1, then level 1 and supply wire will short, and transistor Q1 will get a high signal at its base terminal. When transistor Q1 will get a high signal at its base terminal, then it will turn on. When transistor Q1 will turn on, it will turn on the LED1. When water level will increase, and reach up to level 2, then transistor Q2 will turn on, and it will on the LED2. Same will happen, when water level will reach at level 3. We can use 3 different color of LED for each level. When any wire is not dipped in the water, then this 10 kilo ohm resistor, provides ground to the base terminal of transistor, and transistor turns off. When transistor turns off, then its corresponding LED also turns off. These are the components, which we will use, to make our project. First of all, we will make a PCB base, and for that, we will take a zero PCB, and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw, inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer, and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. To protect the LED from high voltage and current, we will use a 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. We will solder a power indication LED on the PCB. Now we will solder the green LED.
Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the transistor. There are 3 pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will mount it on the PCB. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the yellow LED. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the transistor. There are 3 pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will mount it on the PCB. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the red LED. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the transistor. There are 3 pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will mount it on the PCB. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will connect the components with each other, according to the circuit diagram. To avoid any damage in the circuit, make sure that there is no wrong connection or shorting between the components. Now we will make a hole for battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive, and black wire is for negative. Now we will connect a 9 volt battery and test our project. To simulate our project, we will use a plastic jar. When the water level will cross the red wire, then red LED will glow. When the water level will cross the yellow wire, then yellow LED will glow. When the water level will cross the green wire, then green LED will glow. Red LED is indicating a low water level and green LED indicates that jar is fully filled with the water. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts, 
Regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number, 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website, www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.